everybody, this is Rad Hawkeye back at you again with another cool video. Today, today, today is gonna be an epic, epic day. It's gonna be an epic day. It's gonna be bittersweet. It's gonna be a sad day. It's gonna be an epic day. It's gonna be a happy day. All in one video. You saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. First and foremost, before we get started into what we're doing today, I gotta say this is now a bittersweet day, bittersweet day, because this is the final, final, final video that I'm gonna be doing with the Dodge Charger Hellcat. The final recorded video. I mean, I have about 18 videos <laughs> with the Hellcat in it, with the Charger Hellcat in it, that I haven't yet posted yet. So. I have a lot of posting to do. I have a lot of editing to do. But in any case, let's get back to brass tacks here. Let's get back to the point, Ralph, because this is your final, final, final video with the Charger Hellcat in the driveway. And it's funny because I've had the Charger Hellcat now for over three years. I originally got it June 12th, 2018. 2018 Dodge Charger Hellcat. I was supposed to return it June 12th. 2021 but we had to extend the lease because we had to wait for my dodge durango hellcat to come in and it's finally here it's finally here oh my god it was sitting at the jefferson plant fully built invoiced ready to be shipped it didn't leave jefferson it's at that for a month finally made it into new jersey last week at ramsey ramsey dodge jeep ram chrysler uh, my sales rep henry you met henry when we did the appraisal video we are now going to get the 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, by the way, so like I was saying before, we picked this up June 12th, 2018, and then in July of 2018, in fact, it was July 8th, 2018, was when I launched the official launch of the RAL Hellcat channel. And guess what? I'm wearing the OG shirt. This is the original shirt that I wore. This is the shirt that I wore in my very first video. And this one was brand new. This still had the tags on it this morning. I took the tag off, threw it on for this video. This is the OG, the original, the original Dodge Charger Hellcat with the original Rowl Hellcat channel shirt. So I just wanted to make that a, a point. But let's get back to brass tacks. Dodge Durango Hellcat's probably outside waiting for me. I know. Introductions have to be short around Hellcat, but it's such an epic day, I don't care. Live through it. The introduction is now over. We are now gonna jump in the Dodge Charger Hellcat for the last time, take it for its last ride. We actually might even take it to the car wash one last time. This is not only the last day of the Dodge Charger Hellcat, this is the delivery. I am picking up my Dodge Durango Hellcat. So without further ado, I wanna say goodbye. So my buddy here, I'll probably say, say you goodbye to him one more time at the dealership. No, don't get wrong. So without further ado, I'm gonna hop in the car, get a car wash, go to the dealership. I'll meet you at the dealership for the delivery of the Dodge Durango Hellcat. Enjoy. All right, final wash of the Hellcat. Get ready for the new Durango Hellcat today. Final, final, final. Have a good watch there, kitty, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. See you on the other side. doing the last final touches, the final, final car wash of the Hellcat. The new Durango Hellcat will be next. Is that what yeah, the Durango Hellcat. One year only, they're only making it one year. And I built it, I ordered it special in February. It just arrived at the dealership on Wednesday. That's what I heard one thing, they're having a problem getting some computer chips. For yeah, it, it, can't, it got delayed with the chips. I'll put you on camera for a little bit. Yeah, it got delayed with the chips. Then it got delayed with the cut work shifts at I the plant. They didn't want me. What? <laughs> no. 
And then once it got built, it took a while to ship it because they, they had problems shipping it. <laughs> they had lack of everything. But it's there, it's now it arrived. Hey, ready rock and roll. All right, man. <laughs> we'll see you back next week with the Durango. So, last wash, they're washing the wheels, they're washing the tires, they're wiping it off. All right, looks like they're almost done. Wrap it up, good to go. All right, all done, let's go. Let's go then. We're gonna do our, probably one of our last pulls. It's usually the only time I ever get a good pull in. Let's go. So I just went into the bank, got my cashier's check. So we have to give them some money to get the Durango. So we have to give them some money. Went to Bank of America, it's right down the street from the dealership. And we're down the car, got my check, and we're like within a mile of the dealership. This is gonna be awesome, this is gonna be epic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera back to the road, and this way when we pull into the dealership, maybe, just maybe my Dodge Drain will be outside. If it's inside, it's inside. If it's outside, we can see it now. All right, so let's go. Let me flip the camera over. Right, flip the camera over and we're off. Final mile drive of the Dodge Charger. Hellcat. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, here we go. That's why we're having the camera face this way because you're going to get to see. You're going to get to see it first just like I'm going to get to see it first. I don't see it outside yet, so maybe it's inside. Who knows? Who knows? Man, 
in our spot. All right, we're here. We're here. Final drive in. The, let, me turn, let me close the sunroof. Final drive in the Dodge Charger Hellcat for three years. And now we got our Dodge Durango Hellcat in the garage. I can see it. Cannot wait to get it. It's going to be a great day. Without further ado, let's get out. Say goodbye to the Charger Hellcat. I don't know if they're going to move it or not. Let's say goodbye to it real quick. And then we'll go inside, do the paperwork, and we'll get to see my new Dodge Durango Hellcat. Woo! <laughs> All right. So this is the last walk around of my Dodge Charger Hellcat. Three years I've had the OG Hellcat. Three years of gloriousness. Love this car. It's in perfect shape. Whoever gets this car is going to freaking love it. Only 7,500 miles on it. You cannot beat this car. It's pristine in every which way. There's not a nick. There's not a scratch. There's not a dent. It's in perfect, perfect shape. The paint is in perfect condition. The wheels are in perfect condition. The tires are in perfect condition. Everything is perfect about this car. And there's my man. There's my man, Henry. We're going to be getting this during a hucket. So final 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 walk around we're gonna say goodbye to the og hellcat before we get to say hi to henry we got to do this real quick i'm so happy i got it washed before i brought it here because it is in perfect 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 shape perfection perfection per per and that's just not kitty talk that is perfection Whoever gets this is going to love it, but I know, unfortunately, I know I'm going to love the Durango Hellcat more. <laughs> All right, without further ado, I'll meet you guys inside. we we'll get to see my Dodge Durango Hellcat. All right, so Henry's with the customer right now, so I'm just going to walk in. We'll greet him when I walk inside. The Durango is inside. And I'll get a chance to look at that before Henry comes. So let's do that now. Well, last time, I had someone hold the door open for me this time around not so much so not much nicer in here <laughs> All right, I'm assuming Henry's still in the same spot I'm gonna put my waters here we definitely got some walk around to do here so let's see if we can't take take advantage of this time to take a look at the Durango Take a look at the wrangle and then we'll do walk arounds inside. All right, we're now inside where we couldn't get in before. So now we're gonna take a look. Oh, it looks like they only have one more Ram TRX. I guess two TRXs are gone. So the blue one and the white one are gone. The red one's left. So the one TRX still here. Oh, oh, this is gonna be fantastic. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This thing looks so sinister. Love the silver stripes. I'm so happy I got the silver stripes. Oh my God, it looks, it breaks up the outs. Oh, and the diamond black, the dot, you can see the metallics. Can you see the metallics? The sun's bouncing off of that. Oh my God, this looks so awesome. Oh, the first walk around of my Durango Hellcat. Look at that badge. That Hellcat badge is so huge. It's so huge. Oh, and I love it in black. I love it in black. Love the black. Oh. The black package rims, oh my God, look at it, nice and shiny. This is freaking epic. Oh, look at the back, the back is so nice. It's like, the pictures don't do it justice. Pictures don't do it justice, it looks so much nicer in person. Unbelievable, unbelievable. This looks so good. Oh. All right, now we gotta we gotta now take a peek inside real quick. We gotta take a peek inside real quick and take some pictures. We gotta do some business, and then we get to take this bad boy home. So let's take a look inside. 
my first time getting inside the, my own Dodge Durango Hellcat. Oh, oh my God. Look at these seats. Oh, I'm gonna love these seats. Any negatives that people say about suede, I'm just not seeing that right now. Ah, oh, you can see, it's new car smell. It's new car smell having all oh, the suede. It's the first time I've ever seen the suede on the on the dash up front. The leather dash. Oh, it's got leather dash. The silver piping of the stitching throughout. It looks so much nicer with the silver Hellcat badge. The silver Hellcat badge. The red seat belts. I have red seat belts. Oh, this is so awesome. Now the window sticker was there and they took it off, so hopefully they didn't destroy it. So unbelievable. Oh, we're gonna keep these pieces of paper there. But let's see what the SRT mats look like. Oh, they're nice. They're beautiful. And we're gonna keep them that way because we're gonna put weather text. Oh, look at the carbon fiber. Look at the carbon fiber. Oh my god. This looks so good. This is my Hellcat, boys and girls. This is my Hellcat. My new Durango Hellcat. Oh, it looks the suede, the suede. Oh, the suede. We'll see that. Oh, you can smell this car. So remember when I said before that the smell of the new car smell in the TRX was intoxicating? This is intoxicating too. Oh my God. Feel, look at that. We have a Hellcat in the back. We have more red seat belts. We have the center console. The center console is so awesome. Oh, we have a center console in the back seat. In the back seat. Oh, this looks so fantastic. Red seat belts. Let's go take a look at the outside. Let's go take a look at the, the back here. Flip this open. Ah, oh, man, this is unfiltered. All right, the third row's up, but we're gonna, most of the time that third row's gonna be down, which is fine. Red seat belts on the third row. Red seat belts on the third row, are you kidding me? Oh, this looks so good. Ah, oh, let's push this down. This is so much better than the red eye. I'm sorry. For the same amount of money, this is such a better vehicle. Unbelievable. See, I thought the thought the silver stripes would have been too much. I was like, like questioning myself if I should have gone with the black stripes with the red line stripes, but no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Two Hell Kitties in the back, two Hell Kitties in the front. The suede seats feel so good. I just love these. Oh my God. And it still has leather on the bolsters. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So awesome. Oh, I just got fingerprints on it, stupid me. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, look at this. More, let's push this back a little bit. We don't need that all the way up. Push this back, look at this. Look at this carbon fiber, forged carbon, the suede on the dash, the suede on the center console. Oh, these must be the keys. I'm getting two keys. Yes, they didn't skimp on the keys. Yes, we're getting two keys. That means they're gonna get two keys back. Okay, so that makes sense. So Carmen Carden, sunroof. Oh, let's feel the headliner this a little bit, but oh, look at this. Suede headliner throughout. Oh, this feels so good. This is gonna be epic. I cannot wait to get it. All right, now that we're drooling all over this, we gotta do one more thing. The piece de resistance. The piece de resistance. The piece de resistance. The Hellcat engine. Let's take a look at that. People we are gonna say, what's this guy doing? He's like looking at somebody else's car. No, it's mine. Well, it's gonna be mine. All right, the latch is in a different spot. All right, we gotta figure this out. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, so getting back to the engine. Look at that. Oh, look at the Hellcat on the top of the supercharger. It's so awesome. Oh, there's a piece of tape on here. We gotta get this off. Thank God we're back here. Forgot to take that off. The PDI sometimes misses this stuff. This looks so clean. So awesome. So fantastic. We're just drooling, drooling. Can't let them know that I'm drooling, but I'm drooling. Hellcat powered Durango is mine. Push this down. We're gonna close this up. We're gonna take more looks at this later. That's nice and secure. Very nice. Henry's probably saying, where's Rao? Where's Rao? 
Rao is still recording. <laughs> you can't get me out of here. Should I sit in this thing yet? Nah, we're not gonna sit in it yet. We're not gonna sit in it yet because I'm I got a sweaty shirt on. I don't want to wear a sweaty shirt in this thing. I'm gonna put on like a nice clean shirt before I leave. But, oh my god, this looks so good. Oh my god. I mean and Laguna, maybe. It would have you know what? The red the black laguna would have been better, but Dodge, you messed that one up. You messed that one up, but this looks so good. So good. One more time inside. One more time inside. Ah, it glows blue too. Everything's glowing blue. So that would look wonky if you had blue, glowing blue with the red seats. That's why the black just looks so much nicer. Black, black, black. It smells so good, it's intoxicating. Look at all that forged carbon in the center console. The, the forged carbon pops more, I think, over the black. Is on the with the red bolster in the front dashboard. I just thought that was overpowering the carbon, but now and it was in the red on the console was also overpowering the carbon. But this is really nice. This is really, really nice. All right, let's stop drooling. Let's see if we can buy this thing because I haven't given them a check yet. So it's not mine until we give them the check, but I can just walk around this thing forever. Okay. Here. Hopefully you enjoyed the walk around of my new Dodge Durango Hellcat. Hopefully I'll be able to post this soon. So without further ado, let's go up and do some business. So I can't stop looking at this and I'm sweating and I need some air conditioning. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more. I gotta take some pictures and then we're gonna do some business. So without further ado, this is my new 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. There's the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> the man, the myth, the Durango Hellcat Oh yeah? Yes, Durango Hellcat. <laughs> it looks so nice with the silver stripes. It does. So nice. I didn't think, I thought maybe it might be a little overpowering, but no, not on this. So far, so good. I haven't seen any blemishes, nicks, scratches, or anything yet. I didn't have I didn't have the license plate or the stickers on. Cool. Okay. And I got the window oh. cover on my desk. Oh nice. Nice. The only thing the only thing I found was this. I found this in the engine bed. That's the only thing I found. Oh that's probably just a packaging. Yeah. yeah. But this I love these stripes. I mean they're metallic just like the uh, the paint. Oh, so you didn't put the Ramsey badge on there. I'm surprised. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, nice. I didn't know if you wanted it, so I didn't do it. I'm not, well, I, I wouldn't put the Ramsey on there, but there's that little piece of road that I still have on the track walk. Yeah. I could put that on real quick. and Or you could give, why don't you give me. I can give you the sticker. Give me the sticker, and I'll just put the little road thing on yeah. there just to say that it came from Ramsey. And, yeah. But I, it, it gives it more personality that the two, both the track walk and the. Uh, the Durango Hellcat will have the same. You got to represent and advertise a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So, what do you think? I, I love it, man. It's beautiful. Yeah. But there's so much suede in it. It's like it's like suede on steroids. That's always been the question mark throughout the whole process. Should I have gotten the the Laguna leather or not? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You saw? Did you see a Durango Hellcat with a Laguna? Uh, not yet. No. You took pictures of it once. The, the there was the there was the, oh, the there was the black with the with the black with the red line stripes, with the red, with, yep. and the red interior. Yeah, I had the Laguna so I didn't know what you thought. Uh, Mike, you hey, Mike! Know. I remember Mike. Mike was the one that, yep. after hours, after everybody, I think or half the people left, he showed me around to all the TRXs, and we did a walkthrough he's, of each he's TRX. Like the technology expert, he's gonna help you set everything up in there. Yeah. yeah. Make sure the apps are set up. I already got everything prepped before the submission of the getting the apps. Cool. Before we get anything. Um, but let's get you in the finance because finance. Yeah, let's get the getting, business getting, end of it. Let's just stuff. get the business end going because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it may say on the window sticker it's Ral Hellcats, but it's still Ramsey's until, until I give it a check. Yeah. And maybe a little bit more. It all depends on the payment. We'll see. We'll see. All right, here more. with Matt. Matt, say hi. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy, Matt. We're signing our lives away here. So first, we're going to be signing this one. So sign, sign, sign. And 
and hit save. All right, that's one part of it. The quick and painless signing of the contracts. Hey, we'll do it this way. There we go. Ingenuity. Okay, we're signed. We're sealed, delivered. I signed all this. Well, how many times to... did I sign? Like 10, 15 times? Oh, yeah, be like, yeah. Like 20 at least, times? At least 20 times. Oh, man. <laughs> but the drawing of Hellcat's mine now, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Matt, thank you so much, yeah, man. You're very welcome. Right, look at the uh, you get the shake in there. Thank you so much. I can't wait to take this home. You were awesome. Painless, quick, painless, no pressure. No, this is just, and even worked the finance for me, which was insane, but the lease payment was just phenomenal. So. Good, I'm happy it worked out. I, thanks, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. All right, well, now we're gonna go see Henry and do the rest of what, the DMV stuff? Keys? Uh, insurance? All insurance. Bond delivery. All right, we're still not done yet, but the financing's done. Thanks again, Matt. Thanks again. Thumbs up. All right, <laughs> now we're making our way back. There's, there's Mr. H. There's Mr. Henry. And I'm coming back to him and say, I would say that the financing was quick and painless, but it was just long, but still painless. <laughs> what do you got for me, buddy? <gasps> the window sticker. Laminated. Look at this, this is the best part. This vehicle was specially built for Rowl Hellcat. This is awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at this thing. This is exactly what I was going to do. Now I'm going to put this in a frame. And I'll put it on my wall. This is freaking phenomenal. Thank you, man. No I problem, appreciate man. it. No problem, brother. Yeah, we still got more paperwork to do. And you're gonna, you're okay, gonna now we're doing the Uconnect stuff. So I did all my checklist. Now I'm gonna sign this. All right, we're gonna sign away here. Okay, so. Save and send? Yep. All right. Now for that. Or Mark, thanks again for your business. Yeah, Thank man. You, you guys are awesome. Awesome. Shake. Rattle, roll. Thank you very much, Rattle. Hey, you're welcome, All guys. Right, awesome. Care, Thanks for taking care of me. You got it. All right, man. Thank you. Start the journey. So Henry's out getting the keys. I'm going to start the journey to my new Durango Hellcat. Is Henry coming with? Okay, sounds good. All right, so we're going to start walking to the Durango Hellcat. It's all mine. Oops, sorry. So we're gonna take the journey down. I appreciate that. So we're blocked. We're blocking everybody in here, huh? These are all deliveries. Yeah. All right. Hi. <laughs> all right. We got this. This is an awesome color. B5 blue, man. If if my Charger Hellcat was B5 blue, maybe I would have kept it. There's my Durango Hellcat, boys and girls. Look at how good this looks. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. We're dropping papers here. We're dropping papers. Look at the window sticker, laminated. We're gonna put this in the back seat so it doesn't get smushed. Oh, this is awesome. So we got that. Put this, actually we're gonna put this on this side. The window sticker here too. Does? Or is that the build sheet? It's another window sticker, I'll take it. This one folded, but this is, yeah, hey, look. Another one. All right, Came two window two. stickers? Came with two. Awesome. Yeah, that was the one that was on the window. I pulled it off. I pulled it off. All right. Awesome. It was one, it was, I just noticed one, one folded back here. Yeah. So we'll put the bag on the. Put the bag on the floor. Yeah. Put it on the floor because I don't want that to be crushed. That's fine. Like That's that? perfect. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Oh, okay. So you want me to pull it? All right. I get to pull it out. Well, then you get to, you, you get, get to, to hold this. You get to hold this. There you go. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh my god, we got just this. Perfect. Ooh. Look at that screen. Listen to that baby purr. 10.1 inch screen, baby. I mean, I can't believe it's mine. I've waited long enough. Yeah. Yeah, you waited very oh, patiently. Now, 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 now we're in business. Maybe we're going to have to all that. Red seatbelts, baby. You know you're legit when you got red seatbelts. All right. Pretty 
much know the brand and you know the Hellcat brand already. Of course. So, I mean, there's not much I really have set up here for you because it's pretty much the same thing. I know you know about it, so you're, yeah. you're a unique customer, a unicorn, so to speak, <laughs> when, it, when it comes to this brand because... Well, I do, the, I do all my videos. You do so much research with the videos. Exactly. That's how you know my stuff. Exactly. So, I'm glad I took a ride in my friend's Durango Hellcat because uh -huh. I'm always worried about I have polarized sunglasses mm -hmm. and sometimes with the polarized lenses on certain screens, it'll turn black. Oh yeah. I won't be able to see it, but I knew that this Uconnect screen was, was going to be awesome. All the controls here, I like that. Yeah, so you got the physical buttons here, but you also have the touchscreen buttons here, whereas with the charger, you can only do touchscreen. Yep. And I think, with the, at least with the track walk, to do it in the different drive modes, you had a dial that was right here. Yep, yep. But in order to do different drive modes in the charger, you had to do a touchscreen. And you know, I'm glad I said goodbye to the charger before because I don't know where it is right now. They pulled it downstairs. Okay. Yeah. They pulled it downstairs. Always the same. They pulled it downstairs. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's inside a building. It's safe. It's safe. Nice. Yep. Anything else I need to know? No, I mean nothing else. You, I mean, that's you want me to help hook up your Bluetooth, but I know you know how to do that. I'll do all. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll make a whole video tomorrow because. That's what's nice about picking up on a, on a Friday. Yeah. All tomorrow, I'll, I'll be doing all the setup, mm -hmm. and that'll be part of another video. I noticed this has 33 miles on it. Mm -hmm. So this must have been all the miles they put on it with the stripes and the back and forth. And the, the last one I did that had the stripes also had about 30 something miles on it too. Exactly. But and then now, when I get the ones in the showroom that don't have any stripes or nothing like that, it's like 11 miles, well, that 12 miles. Be, the, the one in your showroom only had like eight miles on it. Yeah. Or three miles yeah. on it. It's something ridiculous. Yeah. Like it was not driven at all. You're good to go, my man. Good to go. You're good to go. Um, when you yes, come to pick up the, when you come pick up the plates, we'll see each other again, and I'll take a yeah. ride with you. All right. Sounds, Sounds like a good plan. Time. I gotta get to my daughter right now. Absolutely, man. All right, Henry, man. Yo. We did it. Pleasure, we man. did it. It was a pleasure. Tell Andy I said hi, but I'll see him when yeah, we pick no up the problem. plates. Happy birthday, brother. Yeah, thank you. you thank this. you. All right. And you get those short plates even better. Yeah, I'm gonna let her know. I did talk to her, but I'm, I'm gonna remind her again tomorrow. All right. All right. Awesome, man. All right, man, no problem, brother. Thank Take you. Care. Drive safe, buddy. I will. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, we got the Durango Hellcat. I got my Durango Hellcat. I'm so happy. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. All right, we got to pull out of here. I, it's not yours until you drive off the lot. So I'm going to be driving off the lot right now, and then I got to set up my, uh, my QC, what's it, the, uh, the mount for the phone because I want to talk to you guys on my way home. This is going to be so epic. I can't wait to share this with you, the spirit. All right, be with you in like two and two. All right, this is it, boys and girls. The first walk around outside of the Durango Hellcat. I couldn't do this at the dealership. There just wasn't enough room to do it. But let me tell you something. This looks freaking phenomenal. I love, love, love this vehicle so far. I've only owned it for, what, all of 10 minutes? So we're just going to do a quick walk around. We got the epic thing running. It's mine, I own it. Look at this, DB black with silver stripes. Looks absolutely flipping fantastic. I am so happy with this vehicle. I'm gonna love it to death. And it'll be a great compliment to the track hog. So awesome, awesome, awesome. And look at this, you can see the SRT from the window. Let me just give it a quick insight on the interior. I don't think you have any music on playing, but it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Look at this thing. Suede, black, demonic red seat belt, sunroof, suede headliner, suede on the dash, or at least the dash trim, leather on top of the dash, suede on the console, forged carbon in the center console, forged carbon on the dash, forged carbon on the doors, more forged carbon on the doors, Harmon Garden. You cannot beat this. Black. This thing looked great when the sun was shining on it. Black. Oh my God, this looks so good. You gotta keep that clean, you gotta keep that clean. I'll, I'll wash that off when I get home. But this thing looks so flipping good. Unbelievable. I'm so happy I have this. I'll be sending this out right now. So you can see it. Two minutes. Two minutes of the best vehicle, I think, other than the track hawk. Who knows if this is gonna be beat the track hawk, but I already know it's gonna beat the charger. I still can't get over how good these stripes look. Look how good these stripes look. Silver stripes on black. It is oh my god. 
And you can see, I can't, I know you guys can't see it on the film, but to see the, the Hellcat logos in silver with the silver stripes looks freaking phenomenal. So without further ado, I'm going to post this out, send up some pictures, and then we're going to drive home. Man. All right, we're back. So our first maiden voyage with the Durango Hellcat. So red seatbelts, man. This is so cool. Well, that was the other thing I wanted to do. Navigation. Do you want to start guidance? Yes. Navigation stuck in New Jersey. Hello? Where are you? I'm just leaving now. You've been here a long time. I know. Well, I didn't I didn't leave until almost one o'clock, so. Alright. Well, what'd you want to do? Nothing. Did everything work out? Yeah, everything worked out. No, no issues, no pain. They took my charger. I got full eighty-five hundred dollar allowance towards the lease. I got, I, I did lease again. So, right. but the payment was just so much better. I mean, the payment was like five hundred dollars less a month. Okay, you'll see it. You'll see it in person in about an hour. Right. Oh my God! Oh my God! We're in the Durango Hellcat. We're in the Durango Hellcat. You know, it's so funny because I'm babying this thing right now because it only had 33 miles on it when I got it. And I got to baby this thing for the next 500 miles. It's going to be hard. But I now have the Durango Hellcat. It's mine. It's in my possession. I cannot believe this day actually came. I don't have the Charger Hellcat anymore. They took the trade in. It all worked out. We got $8,500 for the trade in. Love it. Awesome job. Thank you, Ramsey Jeep Dodge Ram in Ramsey, New Jersey. Henry Knowles is my man. He was awesome today. Phil, Mark, Matt, Raz, all these awesome people that I met today. Or I, I met Mark today. I met Matt today. But Raz and Henry, I met through the trading process or the appraisal process. Now they have my Charger Hellcat. And they say that you can eat off of it. It was so nice. So I'm hoping that they do good things with it. I hope there's going to be a good owner for it. But let me tell you. This, this thing is so freaking awesome right now. I'm in the suede seats right now, and I'm starting to get used to them. They are different than the Laguna in a good way. I know that, okay, to the touch, it's nice and soft. I'm gripped, I'm, I'm locked in. These seats are fantastic, and I, I'm sure they're gonna wear very well. Again, the demonic red was darker than I thought, you know this, but it's almost the same color as the seatbelt, but I got the red seatbelts, I'm representing. Yeah, this is just an epic, epic, epic day. And I'm just, I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. So without further ado, I think we're going to cut the video short. I wanted to do this quick drive because there's not much I can show you. Uh, not much I can do right now because I'm still in the break-in period. But I just want to let you know, I'm in the Durango Hellcat. We're going to be driving this bad boy home. And I'll be in the driveway with you at Final Thoughts. I probably won't be in the driveway tonight. Because by the time I get home, I'm going to be tired. I haven't, I forgot to eat lunch. I had a little breakfast, forgot to eat lunch, duh. And it's now almost 7 o'clock, so I haven't eaten since breakfast. And I'm hangry. I'm hangry. So what we're going to do right now, we're just going to just enjoy the ride home. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. And we'll have plenty of driving videos with the Durango Hellcat. Love this, love this vehicle. Look, look, look at the Hell Kitty. Got the Hell Kitty in the back. I'm going to try to angle the camera so you can see the Hellcat logos in the back seats as well. But right now you can't. But you can at least see the one kitty here embroidered on the seat versus the embossed. You can barely see on camera. So this is awesome. I love this car so far. And I love the colors. I am so happy I got the silver stripe. You have no idea. It looks so awesome. Metallic black paint with metallic stripes go together perfectly. I'm not a matte, the matte finish, I, I, I was a love-hate with the with the Charger Hellcat. Don't have to worry about that anymore. The Charger Hellcat is gone. The dealership now has, whoa, we gotta watch this bend. All right, I gotta concentrate on driving. Let me get home safely, and I will be back with you in the driveway with final thoughts. Durango Hellcat, baby! Rat Hellcat, 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat, and it's all mine. Let me give you one little snippet on the view that you have when you have black with the silver stripes it looks absolutely fantastic it looks absolutely epic and i tell you like you would think that the silver stripes would overpower the vehicle no this thing is black as black can be the 
silver stripes just complement the front, they complement the back. In fact, I might go a little silver graphics on the side. Who knows? I'll put a who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll put a silver Hellcat on the side. I'll have to wait and see, but until then, this is the view from the Dodge Durango Hellcat. So, okay, without further ado, we're gonna go back to driving this bad boy home safely, soundly. There's a little bit of traffic, but again, you can't get on this right now. Oh man, we gotta do something about that wine. We don't hear the wine and the exhaust. You don't hear that as much as you did in the Charger. So we gotta fix all that. So as far as what I was gonna say before, we're gonna drive this bad boy home. We're gonna enjoy it. And then let the mods begin. Ah! We're gonna put the leg maker on probably in the first week. Get that wine up. And then of course, we're gonna put the billet tech on there. We're gonna see what we can do about the exhaust. Get, we have to get some weather techs because right now I don't, I'm don't. i not going to be putting my feet on these mats anytime soon. So that's about it. Just want to do a nice two minute clip of me driving the Hellcat. Durango Hellcat. Oh. So without further ado, again, I'll catch you in the driveway tomorrow with final thoughts. Final thoughts time, final thoughts time, final thoughts time. Oh my God, what an epic, epic, epic day. Another epic day for Rao Hellcat. Another epic day for me. Another epic day for the Rao Hellcat channel. In that, we have the new 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. The Dodge Durango Hellcat, and it's mine. It's my 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat, and I simply love it so far. It's only been a day. Yes, it's the next day, but I had a fantastic, fantastic 24 hours with this. I cannot wait to show you everything that I've learned in only a couple of hours of driving home last night. This is so cool. One of the best things that I discovered driving home is that the wireless Apple CarPlay is seamless. You pair it up, it's so easy. And then your phone automatically syncs. Your music automatically syncs. I was able to play some really cool tunes on the way home in the Harmon Garden is spot on, excellent. The sweet seats, the sweet seats. I'm locked into these seats. I don't slip around, I don't move around. I, they're so comfortable. Oh my God, they're so comfortable. I mean, I've had Laguna Leather in both the Charger Hellcat and the Trackhawk. But now that I have the suede Alcantara seats, oh my God, I think I'm just falling in love with these things. Yeah, it's not pure leather, everyone likes that pure leather and they feel that it's easier to clean them and they don't want to get spills on them and food and whatnot. But I am not going to be drinking or driving or eating in the Dodge Durango Hellcat. The only thing that's allowed in the Dodge Durango Hellcat is water and water will not hurt these seats, even if they got wet. Plus, I'm in a Scotch Garden, so I'm not worried about that whatsoever. And the color contrast, oh my God, the color contrast. Silver stripes with the diamond black exterior I love these stripes and they go so well with the silver contrast stitching inside. It's like a perfect match. Like I said before, the silver stripes go with the silver piping, the silver stitching, and the silver SRT Hellcat logos. And then we have that subtle red, the subtle red, the subtle red of the red Brembo brake calipers, and then the subtlety of the red seatbelts, the demonic red seatbelts look perfect in this thing, especially against the black suede. I'm so excited I cannot contain myself, but what I can do is this. We are gonna be producing some great content, great videos with this thing. I already have all my mods planned out, all my mods planned out. I mean, first and foremost, the first mod we have to do, and that is an important thing because right now, I have the regular car mats in there and I don't wanna ruin it. We are going to replace the mats right away with WeatherTech. Yes, WeatherTech, they're on order. They should arrive here any day now and I will be using the paper that protects the mats until the WeatherTechs come in. So we have WeatherTech coming up. We have my Billet Technology oil catch can we're gonna install. We have the leg maker cold air intake and I'll be putting that in. We also have all this Billet Technology engine bling to install. Those are gonna be the first mods that are gonna be going in. And then we have all these other mods planned. All these other mods planned. We have to do something with the exhaust for sure. Who knows? Will we do the same thing that we did with Brian? Will we do a mid month for Will we be adding the race boards? Who knows? Who knows? We don't know what we're gonna do just yet. But what I can tell you is this. 
we will definitely be modifying the exhaust some way, somehow. And I would really, my, my first choice is Borla. It's always been Borla. Borla, Borla, Borla. Of course, I know Corsa makes an exhaust for this. So it's between Corsa and Borla at this point. We don't know yet. Who knows what we're gonna do? What I do know is this. WeatherTech floor mats, <laughs> Bill of Technologies old catch can, Leg Maker cold air intake, and then the Bill of Technologies engine bling for the Dodge Durango Hellcatcher. Then we'll do some cool things. Maybe we'll do another collab with Brian. His Durango Hellcat versus my Durango Hellcat. We still have to do some comparisons between my new Durango Hellcat and the Trackhawk. The Trackhawk I still have. I will continue to have the Trackhawk. We will never give up the Trackhawk. Trackhawk is staying. Dodge Durango Hellcat is staying. What is missing, though, is the Charger Hellcat. The Charger Hellcat's gone. I miss it a little bit. But after driving this home, I don't miss it as much because I love, let's just, I'll just put it out there. The Dodge Durango Hellcat is better, is superior than the Charger Hellcat. So that is not even in debate right now. What could be in debate is, will the Dodge Durango Hellcat beat the Jeep Trackhawk in terms of how much I love the two vehicles? We know how much I love the Trackhawk. I do love the Durango Hellcat so far, but we, I've only had it a day, <laughs> so let's give it time. I can already tell you right now, like I said before, Harman Kardon is awesome. The wireless Apple CarPlay and the Uconnect 5 system is spot on excellent. The navigation is superior. Uh, what else? Uh, the wireless charging is a game changer. The 10 inch screen is a game changer. That's awesome of itself. The suede seats pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with the suede seats. The Alcantara suites, the Alcantara trim, the forged carbon on the interior. I'm so glad we have the premium package. If we have to go over options one last time, I got the tech package, which includes the adaptive cruise control. That was a must. That was something that the Charger Hellcat did not have. The Jeep Trackhawk did have, and it was definitely a must have. I wouldn't get this without it. So tech package. Then we got the premium interior package with the Alcantara headliner, the forged carbon, inserts the leather wrap dash, the suede Alcantara trim on the dash, the suede Alcantara trim on the console. That was a definitely worth every penny. We did the second row center console, love that. Extra storage, plus you have two more charging ports, both a regular and a USB, and you have two illuminated cup holders for water, for water. <laughs> and they also have the two kitty cat logos, which I, I'm gonna be calling kitty cat logos, but the SRT Hellcat logos are on the embroidered, not on the front, not only on the front seat, but also on the back seat, which is freaking awesome. And then of course we have the third row. The third row, it's, it was like, a, it was like, do I get it? Do I not get it? Do I get it? Do I not get it? But we wanted it to be different. We didn't want it to be a duplicate of the Jeep Trackhawk, except for it being longer. So I'm happy I got the captain's chairs in the second row versus the lightweight package. I'm happy I got the center console in the in the uh, second row versus not having it. What else did I get? Oh, well, this tow package we got, it's there. It's easier to have it than to not have it and try to install it later. And plus you have the controls for when you are backing up your trailer. It gives you that little uh, special guidance, which I'm gonna be reviewing all the features for that as well, if we were to use it. Oh, I almost forgot, the black package, the black package. Oh my God, the black package. I'm telling you, it's nice to be subtle, and we have the subtlety of the blacked out Hellcat badges on the front, on the sides, and the rear. The Dodge letters are, are blacked out. The Durango letters are blacked out. The four-wheel drive logos are blacked out. Best part about the black package for me is the wheels. The wheels, I just love the black package wheels over the machine finished wheels that you get in the standard package. So that in and of itself, I don't want to be spending money on wheels just yet. Wheels and tires is probably a year from down the road after I put some miles on these tires, see how they wear. I think I nailed all the options that we, oh, the red seat belts, of course, we talked about that. What else? And the blind detection, the blind detection, hmm, I don't know about the blind detection. I think everyone gets that. I think, I don't, I don't even think you can get one without it. And then of course, probably one of my favorite options, my favorite options that is just the most impactful thing that you see when you see this menacing vehicle are these silver stripes, the Mopar silver stripes. The only love hate I have for these Mopar silver stripes is that it delayed me getting this Durango Hellcat probably one to two months. It took a whole month for the stripes to be put on after it was built, and then it took a whole month to then ship it after. But 
good things come to those who wait. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited. And now I have the Dodge Durango Hellcat with these beautiful silver stripes. I can't be any happier with what I did with this build. I put everything that I could possibly want in this in the build. And also, let's not forget the Harmon Carden and the sunroof. Those were must-ads as well. I do have opinions on the sunroof. Again, the sunroof is more like a charger sunroof. It's just going to open and close manually. It doesn't have that power shade like the trackwalk has. And it doesn't have the dual pane like the trackwalk. But it is what it is. I got the best sunroof you can get, the only sunroof you can get in the Dodge Durango Hellcat, and I ordered it, and it's with the vehicle, and I'm glad I got it versus not. Same thing with the Harbin Carden. I'm glad I got it versus not. So, without further ado, let's keep our final thoughts to just that. I still have a lot more to show you, a lot more to talk about, but that'll be for the next video. So, without further ado, <laughs> without further ado, those are my final final thoughts. I also want to thank, and I gotta thank, Ramsey Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ramsey, New Jersey. They made the delivery experience so pleasant, so awesome. The whole process was great. The whole process was great. I mean, it started with Andy. Andy was my original sales rep who sold me the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk two years ago. Then Andy referred me to my man, Henry Knowles. Make sure you check out Henry Knowles for all your Jeep Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram products. If you live in the Ramsey, New Jersey area, definitely reach out to Henry. He was awesome. We also have our two sales managers, Phil and Raz. Appreciate you guys. You definitely helped with the process as well. And I do appreciate you guys. Also, Mark, the general manager, he approved everything and made this possible with getting my Hellcat, my Charger Hellcat approved to be traded in in order for me to help me get the Dodge Durango Hellcat a little for a little bit less per month. And let's not forget, last but not least, let's not forget Matt, Matt in the finance department. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Matt. Do appreciate you as well. All of you guys were awesome during the delivery process. So one last time, let's thank Andy, Henry, Phil, Raz, Mark, Matt. Oh, and I almost forgot Mike. Let's not forget Mike. Mike is one of the delivery guys who actually is in charge of getting these vehicles ready for delivery. So Mike actually was the one that allowed us to do the walk arounds in the, with the Ram TRXs, the three of them. He let me in after almost the dealership was closed. He did that and also he was in charge of getting this beautiful Dodge Ram and Hellcat clean. So then, so again, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. So again, without further ado, let's thank our team again at Ramsey, <laughs> Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Ramsey, New Jersey. Andy, Henry, Phil, Raz, Mark, Matt, and Mike. <laughs> Hopefully I got everybody. If I forgot anybody, I do apologize, but I think I nailed everybody. Those are all the people that helped me doing this purchase of the Dodge Ring and Hellcat and the traded of my Charger Hellcat. So again, thanks you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you. On the delivery, on the delivery of my Dodge Durango Hellcat. The 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat is all mine. So without further ado, this video is now over. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's the delivery of the Dodge Durango Hellcat, the 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat, my Dodge Durango Hellcat. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up. Please hit the thumbs up. Please, please hit that thumbs up. I truly would appreciate that. Please tap that like button to tell me how much you like me taking delivery of my 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. And also, after you hit that like button, definitely put in a comment or two, put in a comment or two, get those fingers on the typewriter and put in a comment or two on how much you love the Durango Hellcat, how much you love my spec, all the options that I got, how much you look forward to the journey that we're gonna be doing with all the mods that we're gonna be doing on this, all the cool, cool collabs we're gonna be doing with this, the car shows, Maybe we'll do a little drag racing. Definitely put in a comment or two on how much you're looking forward to it. Put in a comment if you already have a Dodge Durango Hubcat and you want to join the family and we'll do some collabs in New Jersey or New York or Pennsylvania. Definitely, definitely, definitely put in comments about that. And also put in any comments as to what you might want to see up and coming with me and the Dodge Durango Hubcat. Any mods that you'd like to see, any mods that you have suggestions of, definitely put those in the comments. And first and foremost, I always respond to all my comments. So please put in a comment 
I always respond to them, and I look forward to all your comments. Also, share the video with everyone you know. Share, 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 share. Share the video. Let people know that Raul Hellcat has taken delivery of the 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat, and you want them to follow the journey with us. Share, share, share to everyone that you know that may be interested in knowing about the build that I'm going to have for the Dodge Durango Hellcat. Please share the video with everyone you know. I truly would appreciate it. And last but not least, if you haven't already subscribed, this is never a better time than subscribing to my channel. I'm wearing the OG, the OG Raul Hellcat shirt that I wore my first video and my first video with the 2018 Charger Hellcat. What better way, what better way that if you haven't already been one of the OG subscribers, at least you could be OG now with the 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification, so this way whenever I post new Dodge Durango Hellcat videos of my Dodge Durango Hellcat and all the other Dodge Durango Hellcats that we're gonna be seeing with all my friends that have them, please hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification so you'll be notified. And I do appreciate again, each and every one of my existing subscribers, let's not forget about you, because you have made the channel what it is today Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being with me on the journey with the Charger Hellcat, the Jeep Trackhawk, and now the 2021 Durango Hellcat. Thank you to all my OG subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, again, please hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Without further ado, this video is now over. And you know how we always end these videos. We always have to end the videos the same way because I want to say peace 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 to all of you and we always peace out we've been doing it for a while let's peace out again srt mush style so let's do it let's go peace 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 thanks again for watching enjoy the rest of your day it's a little bit cloudy today on a saturday but enjoy the rest of your day enjoy the rest of your evening Peace to all of you. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Stay safe. And we'll catch you. We'll catch you on the next video. All about the 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. My Dodge Durango Hellcat. Also, we're going to have cool Jeep Grand Cherokee track all content along with that. Can't wait to share these videos with you. We have a whole bunch of videos already recorded, raring to go. Even the, the goodbye videos on the Charger Hellcat, all the mods that we are going to anticipate doing with the Durango Hellcat. We also have Rao Hellcat reviews, Rao Hellcat walkarounds. I can't, I, I can't list everything that we have coming up because we have so much content coming up. So we'll definitely catch you. We'll catch you on the next video. So without further ado, let's just do one last outro of peace. Peacing out for the last time in this video, so one, <laughs> two.